Hi everyone, this is Jessica Alba, and today we are going to do a very fun challenge. I have a special guest, Sophia Vlahos. Give her a hand, everyone. So, as you can see, this is the end result of the challenge. Uh, we did a five minute contour challenge, clean beauty, check it out. We're gonna try and do this in five minutes. I'm not sure if that's realistic, but <laughs> we'll do our best. Wait, I need a drink of coffee just to okay. like okay. keep myself. Oh, I should have added some more agave <laughs> into this coffee. I feel like I should put my okay. brows on before I do my contour. Got my big Greek eyebrows. I love those big Greek eyebrows. <laughs> Took them all off in the 90s. Every last one of them. I got my brows microbladed, but I still fill them in. How's that process? You know, it feels like a tattoo with a razor blade. Oh my gosh. Worth it though. Your brows are popping. It doesn't feel great. I'm not even gonna lie. Our hair pulled back, got the brows on, timer. On. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna start priming. I'm, just, I'm gonna prime as well. Oh so, gosh, wait, this, this is, is primer. I just go right on. Prime everywhere. Gotta fill in those pores. I think this just gives you such a nice canvas. Totally. I have my foundation in the shade Sand. I'm gonna get right into it. I'm gonna start with the tinted moisturizer and fair under my eyes here. One minute. Oh my gosh. And then I'm gonna go in with light. I've never found a foundation that matched me so well. That's a great color. I'm moving on to my contour shades. This is cream, uh, just to highlight my face. How you doing over there? You know, I'm just like <laughs> trying to blend in. So I like to start with the tinted moisturizer and then I go in with the foundation over it. Oh, okay. So then I I still have that like sunscreen. So I'm gonna go in with amber. And I'm gonna use a fluffy brush. And amber's like a little bit warmer than my skin. So I'm not gonna cover everything, but I'm definitely gonna go in. Summertime. I'm moving into my first contour shade, Coco. I'm just gonna use the other side of the beauty sponge. And then I'm just gonna put it right in the hollows of my cheeks. I'm just doing the Notorious Bronzer 3 on my face. And I'm gonna use Java. Put that here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Race against time. Crease in my eyes and bring it into the hollows of my cheeks. My jaw. I don't know if nose contour too much, typically with a powder, but I'm gonna give it a try with the cream today. What I like about a cream foundation contour is it just looks so much more natural. Right. Yeah, much less harsh. Oh no, our face uh -huh. time ended. That's not good. What happened? Alright, so we paused. I don't know. Ready? Picking it back up. All right, go. I'm gonna take the tip of my beauty blender. I'm just gonna go down the nose. I'm gonna I'm gonna go in with the sand. I'm gonna use my finger and bring it under my eyes, forehead where I like to highlight. Ooh, I'm gonna try that. I love doing a lighter shade right under the hollows of my cheeks because it gives your cheekbones that lifted look. I'm getting another brush and just blending it in. We are at five minutes. So I remember we had a little, we had that little delay. So do you do blush before you do your powder to set it? If it's cream blush, I always do it before my powder and then I'll just tap a little bit of powder over it, but nothing that's gonna diffuse it too much. Um, but if I'm using oh, okay. a powder, then I do it on top of my setting powder. So today, I'm gonna do a little bit of uh, Coral Peach. This is my favorite blush of all time. It never fails. I love Coral Peach. I'm just gonna do a little bit of that. 
Now I'm going to go in with the darker dust reflection. Look at how pretty that is. So luminous. Never fails. Never fails. Do a little bit of the lighter midnight reflection. I'm going to do the same thing. Okay. And then I'm going in with the little setting powder. Like, when did you start contouring? So, when I started with makeup, I was like in sixth grade. I had my little Claire's eyeshadow palette to experiment with at home. Um, but I didn't oh. get into contour until it became a trend. Like really sharp contour and big eyebrow type of look. That's five years ago. So, I was like 12, 13 when I started it. Um, That's crazy. I was watching oh, all the wow. OGs on YouTube and um, I taught myself. So. I remember I used to go to auditions because my mom would do like a full face, like all the makeup, but I was 12. And so I was walking in to all these auditions and people were so confused by A, my age uh -huh. and B, by how much makeup I was wearing. <laughs> Uh, I was like, mom, you can't put all this makeup on my face. And she's like, it's stage makeup. Like, I know what I'm doing. Mother and I'm like, oh, mom, I'm getting made fun of. Like, ah. The first person to ever really contoured me was Laura Mercier. From then on, as an actress, I contoured because I, I asked the makeup artist once I knew that trick. It brings all of the angles back into your face, mm -hmm. especially if you're gonna like do a selfie or if you're gonna be on camera or if you're gonna do a TikTok or whatever it is. I think you just look better when your face looks like it has angles. What was your biggest beauty no-no? Oh gosh. One time I did like a shimmery blue eyeshadow and I thought that I looked so cute. And I had like my little hot pink blazer um, and oh. like, I thought that I was the coolest. I was doing the most. I was living my fantasy. But I like it when people do the most. I, know. I think you can do the most if you choose a moment. Sometimes I'll do like a colored um, little under eye moment or just like a brighter mm. lip, it depends. What's the biggest trick you've learned when it comes to contouring? Baking after I do my contour. So I just take my sponge and my powder and I just do like a line of powder under the contour and it oh. sharpens it, so when you brush it away, you have like a really pretty drawn in um, cheekbone. You kind of see it here, it's a little more defined. Cause sometimes if you drag it a little too far down, you kind of get like the five o'clock shadow look, so. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of, I might need to blend a little bit. Now I'm starting to feel a little insecure. No, no, you look great. You look amazing, always. Thank you so much for sharing your favorite tip. Um, everyone out there, if you would like to see more videos with me and Sophia doing challenges, I thought this was really fun. I mean, I think we went slightly over five minutes and maybe we tied, maybe I won. I don't know. I don't know. You know what? Know. It's okay. We'll just have to let the viewers decide. Comment who you think yeah. you won. <laughs> Comment below, guys. And also check out Sophia's page. We are gonna have some more challenges over on her page. We're gonna do a cat eye challenge with a liquid liner. And we are going to compete to see who can do it the fastest. Fingers All right. as well. Check it out. Okay guys, thank you so much. Bye. Bye.